Hi, I'm Ron Polk, and we continue with designing the awesome rolling toolbox in SketchUp. I've done a bit more detailing since we last poked in here, and uh, so I now instead of just having blocking for the tools, I have a few of the tools uh, to show how they're going to fit in. I have found online uh, a really nice detailed model of the Capex. Uh, saw the one here that I'm uh, hovering over is the actual one to scale uh, the one that I have and then I went ahead and scaled up uh, another copy of it to be the size of the Milwaukee uh, 12 inch that I plan on picking up in the future so that way I get a really good visual I also took a couple of shot vacs and just scaled them to be the size um, of uh, the the various vacs that I have to see how they'll fit in. So uh, that kind of helps me see a little bit better. I've had a couple of comments that, hey, why don't you put your benches down lower and your tools up higher and, uh, and then mount this box up? Well, a couple of reasons. One is these are pretty heavy, so if I mount this box up, uh, I would either have to build another box to put these in, and um, that would take more material, and somewhat of a design because I want to slide them out the end as opposed to walk in and put them up. The other reason is these are just heavier. Uh, these uh, benches are pretty light and they're easy for me to lift. I have a much easier time lifting these up higher than these, particularly that planer. That is a beast. Okay, so I think I'd like to have drawers beneath here to have a lot of the tools that I may want to pull out, screwdrivers and wrenches and such right here instead of down in here uh, if I'm working on something. So what I'm going to try to do is take this compressor and put it on the floor uh, behind this uh, eight foot uh, long drawers here back in this space. So what I'm going to do, uh, since it's a little different direction as in the past, I'm going to go ahead and save this as version four. So I can easily pop back to this version if I don't like the direction I'm going. Version four. So I'm working on version four. Click, shift click, so both are selected. I'm going to right click and I'm going to make a group. And that way they will stay together when I move them. Okay, so move, grab that corner, and I'm just going to come down into this space here. And if I hit the H key for hand and then the M key for move, it takes me right back to where I was. Okay, so I've got that placed. It's a little taller. Uh, so the drawers on top of that will be a little bit shorter. I can deal with that. So first off, I think I'm going to just make some copies here. Uh, so I've taken the spacebar key, gives me a black arrow, left click on the group, and then M key for move, and then tap the Alt or Option key, depending on whether you're Mac or Windows, and click on that corner and just move it over until it there and now I'm going to hit the X2 it'll give me two copies and because they were exactly half the uh, the width of those were half the length of that box they fit perfectly there and now I'm gonna move this layer panel out of the way and I'm going to turn off the tools kind of clean up things here a bit so what I need to do is um, scale these to fit but there are a bunch of drawers and it'd be better to scale one of these so I'm going to click on that and delete click on that and delete and then and you can see too that because I'm modular here this fit perfectly in between I don't need to adjust uh, this one of the reasons I am modular with my trailer is uh, any updates uh, you know it's a lot easier if you're modular Okay, so I'm going to grab one of these. I'm going to hit the, that was the um, spacebar key. I'm going to click off again. Spacebar key, left click, that selects it. M key for move, option or alt for, gives you a little arrow. And then I'm going to copy this right to there. And then what I'm going to do is hit the S, uh, this is selected. I'm going to hit the S key for scale. And I can't see the hand, well I can, I can see it right there and I can do it. I can also turn on the x-ray button and it helps me see through. So I'm just going to bring this down until it is right there, which is right at the top of the other one. 
turn it back on and just make sure I got that right and I did okay so I can get a three drawer in I'll probably adjust the sizing of these drawers a little bit I've got a taller one and then a narrower one when you scale uh, depending on the direction you scale it's going to squash the drawers equally uh, so this is not going to be the final design just rather a reference so I'm going to hit the M key for move I'm going to grab this little corner right there tap the option key to get the plus arrow and there we go click on that shift click on that shift click on that and that's got them together I'm going to move them out to the end here so I'm going to hit the M key for move I'm not copying I'm just moving so I'm going to move this out to there and now I want to hit my spacebar key grab this toolbox hit the M key for move and move it over to there and so you can see how easy it is to sort of explore options and now I'm going to take the hose reels move them and uh, they mount on the wall so I'm going to turn them this way and all I'm doing here is uh, with the uh, they're a group so if I uh, have the spacebar key which is the black arrow click on it then just hit the M key for move and then I find you see as soon as you hover over a surface you can rotate so I want to rotate in this direction 90 degrees and now I can just grab so I'm gonna move this in and there see I locked on that corner now I can know that I'm on the side and I can hit the move uh, spacebar key for move and I'm just following that edge and I give myself I should be able to find the midpoint on that so there it should say see midpoint in group that's the midpoint of the cabinets and so that should be pretty close my thought being is that I can uh, drill a hole here there's some I checked in my trailer there's some aluminum framing that's pretty wide to here but about in here I should be able to drill a nice hole and then drop both of these hoses down pull them out uh, in front of the tires here pull them around and you know, into the job this this now is a detailed um, cabinet so it's no longer blocking this is how I'm going to build it so if I want it to look a little more like these I can uh, highlight it and hit the B key for bucket you can see that gives me um, all of these choices and I can pick wood oh, pick wood and go down and choose a wood I can I can bring in a lot more textures these are what's in the model or what's in my system but you can download uh, all kind of textures uh, you can add your own textures but another thing you can do if you are in the bucket tool and you hold down the command key see it's a bucket and if you hold down the command key just hold it down see if I let it go it goes back to a bucket and it turns into an eyedropper and that samples whatever texture I touch so if I click on that now that is loaded you can see that's loaded as the texture and all I have to do is click and now my cabinet for the back is uh, looking pretty much how it's going to look when I build it out of plywood all right so that is enough of this for now we'll uh, start doing some detailing and I'll show you how I will take these blocks and start actually building some cabinets uh, in the next video okay so we're done with uh, today's video in SketchUp designing the awesome rolling toolbox at the end here I just want to remind everybody to uh, subscribe if you like the channel if you're learning something and also to remember to share it it's really helpful if you share these videos one more shameless plug uh, I do have the plans that I sell online for the workbenches you can just go to the uh, paulcombs.com and click on the uh, purchase plans tab and that'll take you here I'll put a link directly to our modular market account and as a reminder after you uh, purchase them uh, within minutes you'll receive an email with a receipt at the bottom very bottom of that receipt you'll find a password and a link so go ahead and uh, you can download them they're in PDF and um, you can download them right away. See you in the next video. Thanks for taking the time to watch.